Alhamdulillah, I'm very honored alhamdulillah, to be here with you in a very noble gathering in this country. And actually, Arbaeen, it's not a simple day, it's, an, it's a very significant, has a very significant role in our religion. Of course, because Imam Hussein belongs to whole human being, so Arba'in is not only for Muslim. No matter we are Shia or Sunnah, no matter Muslim or non-Muslim, Imam Hussein belongs to all, so Arba'in belongs to all. Why Imam Hussein belongs to all? Because he stood against injustice and everybody are against injustice. So Imam Hussein is a representative of everybody who loves justice. So we love Imam Hussein because he stands, actually he stood against injustice and established justice. From a long time ago I was thinking that in every country they have a special day it used to be called or still are called hero day every country they have their hero days but i was thinking if a muslim or a human being wants to have a hero day which day would be the best day to declare as a hero day then i realized i thought maybe arbaeen is the best day to be called as a hero day we can commemorate we can have a great ceremony to declare that Hussein is our hero so Arbaeen is the hero day so inshallah from next we openly we say Arbaeen is going to be the hero day for everybody not only for Muslim not only for Shia even not for only for like some group of the Shia is hero day for whole human being, for all human being. So we try our best to show that Hussein is our hero and we are going to give our life to Hussein. Now we gathered here to say, oh Hussein, if 1400 years ago we were not there to help you, we were not there to answer your call, Halmen now Serenyan Soroni, now we are here. We are going to tell you, oh Hussein, Salmun Leman Salamakum, our help is ready. We are against your enemy. We are friends with your friends. Now you tell me who is your friend. Then I'll be his friend. Very openly we can find in his books, in his words, in his speeches, in his khutbah, in different cases, in different places that he introduced his friends to us. When he say, when he was asked to do bay'ah with Yazid, he did not say, I'm not going to do bay'ah with Yazid. He said, Misli la yobani o misla Yazid. Means I'm not going to do bay'ah, I'm not going to shake hand, not with Yazid. He said, with somebody like Yazid. This is a very important message means whoever his act is like Yazid, whether he is in the time of Yazid or 1400 years later, he will be friends of Yazid. So Imam Hussein is against the Yazid, against the friends of Yazid. We are as a people who claim that we are against the Yazid, we should be against the friends of Yazid of our own time. Okay? Then, today we are here. We claim, we claim that we love Imam Hussein and we might think that we've done a good job, a big job, but I should tell you, we are not the first one who came and to do ziyara for Arba'in and to show our like uh, likeness for, for Imam Hussein alayhi salam. I want just to tell you, the first person who came out and did march for Arba'in and helped or welcomed those who came from marching for Arba'in is Imam Sadiq alayhi salam.
It's been narrated it was in the time of Mansur Dawaniqi. He was, Imam Sadiq was in Najaf. He came in Najaf and he was in the main road. One of his companions was with him. He said to his companion, go to the main road and wait for somebody. Somebody is coming. Tell him one of the family of Prophet is waiting for you. When this guy, he went there, Musa ibn Musa ibn Qasim. The name was Musa. He said, I went to the main road waiting for that person to come. I did not see anything. It was so hot. I was almost going to come back. Then all of a sudden I saw a like a man is coming on the camel. I waited for him. He came. I told him the story. I said, somebody from the family of Prophet is waiting for you. So he said, took me to his tent. When I took him to his tent, then he said, I was not able to go in. So I was just hearing the discussion between these two men, Imam Sadiq alayhi salam and this guy. I'm just going to finish it in very quick. Then he was telling that Imam Sadiq told him, oh man, you came here for the ziyarah, short of the story. You came here only for the sake of the ziyarah. Just remember, this ziyarah is equivalent, one of the ziyarah of Imam Hussain alayhi salam is equivalent to one hajj and accepted hajj with the Prophet. He was surprised, how come? Then Imam added, added more, added more. At the end of the story, Imam said, every ziyarah for Hussein ibn Ali alayhi salam is equivalent to 30 hajj and with the Prophet. So we believe, inshallah, our gathering here is, is going to be welcomed by Imam of our time, Imam Zaman alayhi salam. The time is over.